Welcome to another class on second derivative. Now, this is how you do second derivative or when they ask you to differentiate twice. Now, you are going to follow the formula that says B minus A over 0 0.00001. Now, this is this 0 0.0001 is a constant. Just observe that this is 4, 0 and the one make it to be 5. And that is all. Now, we are going to differentiate twice. We want to differentiate twice. How are we going to do it? See the first question. We actually differentiate this at x equals 2. So, this question we are given x already. But then now, let's take the calculator to be in degree. Make sure that your calculator is in degree. If there is no sign, there is no cause, there is no cause, stand, or etc. Now, you press the differentiation button. Open the bracket. We have 1 minus 2 alpha x. Close the bracket. Open the bracket. We have x raised by 3, then plus 3, close the bracket. Come to this place, we are given x already to be 2. So you just differentiate first by saving this to be a. Now when we save this to be a, press back all direction, press delete, come to the back of these two. Then add this constant we have here to it. That's plus 0 0.00001. Then save this as b as well. When you save it as b, then press ac. When you press AC, then press this formula, which means we have alpha B minus alpha A over the constant we press, which is press 0 0.00001. Then press equals, you can see you have minus 84.000. So the answer is minus 84. Then press this, let's get to the second one. The second question here, because of this, we have to take the calculator to be in radian because there is cause here. So press shift mode, the radian is number four. The same thing, you press shift this, then let us press what we want to differentiate. That's 3, then cos 3 alpha x, close the brackets, come to this place, and press 2. So when you press 2 like this, then press shift this. So we save it as what? Well, as A. That's first differentiation. Then press backward direction, press delete, then come to the back of these two, add the constant to it, 0 0.0001. Then save this as what? Well, as Save this as B. When you save it as B, I press this C. Press this, you have it to be alpha B. I go into the formula, the minus alpha A over the constant 0 0.0001. Press the cost 2. You have the answer to be minus 25.92. Then let us see the one that will give us minus 25.92 in the option. So before you do, save your X as 2. You know, you can use any value of X, but make sure that is the value of X you use. It for the question is the value of x used for the answer as well. So press shift this, we save x as 2. Then press the cos 2. Then let us press the option 1 after the other 27. Then cos 3 alpha x, close bracket. We have to be 27.92, but not minus. So it's not the answer. Then the option B, option B says 27. Then sign 3 alpha x, close bracket. This one is minus 7 points, so it's not the answer. The next one we have minus 27. Then cos 3 alpha x, close the bracket, we have this to be minus 2, 25.2, 0.97, that is the correct answer. Can you see it's the correct answer, which is the cost to the value we got in the question. So press AC. Now this one, I should help you to solve it, but the answer here is option A. Then try this, let me have, then if you get this right to be option A, let me just give you the method, you are going to have your calculator to be in radian let me give you the process then you are going to do it and give me the answer then what's the answer you press you you take your calculator to be in radian that's this after it's in radian because it contains cause then we have it to be shift this you have it to be five then cause you have alpha x there the minus three then you have sine alpha x close the bracket you know we are not given x so we can insert x to be 2, then save this as what well as a. Then press backward direction, delete a, come to the back, you, you add the constant with it, 0 0.0001. Then save this as what well as b. After you are done, press a c. Then you have it to be alpha b minus your alpha a all over the constant 0 0.0001. Press the cost 2. You can see you have it to be 4.8085. Now, this is the answer for the question. Now, what's your why? So, let me have it at the comment section. What is your why? Let me have it at the comment section. What is your why? So, the answer to this, let me have it at the comment section. So, let me see.